All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the swamp. We have a baby or hatchling alligator snapping turtle hiding in the sand right here. It's luring, it's using its vermiform lure in its mouth right there. Let's have a closer look at it. It's got a fake worm on its mouth that it's using to try to lure in a fish. It wants to eat those fish, and so it's like a little fisherman. Oh, watch that. That fish almost went for it. That would have been awesome to see, but eventually one will. One fish will see that vermiform lure in its mouth. It'll go for it, and that fish will, that turtle will just chomp its mouth down right on top of it. And it's hunting for the gambusia <clears throat> mosquito fish. It's natural prey. And that little lure looks like a mosquito larva. Now, this turtle is probably only three months old. It is a hatchling. It's very small, only the size of maybe a half dollar. But um, as it grows, the worm appendage, the fake worm on its tongue grows with it. And so it works out perfectly for the turtle because it'll be able to catch bigger fish as it becomes a bigger turtle. But it stays perfectly still and it camouflages its body by burying itself in the sand like this. And all you can really see is its tail and some of its back and uh, it tries not to move its eyes at all. And you see that fish is interested in that worm. Let's see if it goes for it. Oh, we, it may not, we may not actually get to see it on this video, but it's a mathematical certainty that it will catch one. It just has all day to use that little worm to try to trick these fish. And it just moves it all day long up into, until the point when that fish decides it wants to eat it. And then it'll, um, it'll catch that fish. It's a cruel trick of nature to have this little worm and, and to fool the fish into thinking that it's going to get prey when it actually becomes the prey. The fish actually becomes the prey. So, oh, I, I thought we were going to see it catch one that... We may if I keep this camera running. I don't know. I'll, I'll let it run for a little while. Let's see. Is it going to go for it? Is it going to go for it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Can y'all believe that? Did you see how it just swallowed it so fast? Or did it miss the fish? I'm not even sure. I'll have to go back and look. It, You know, it's still fishing. I think the fish was so fast that it got out of the way just in time. But did you see how it went for that worm? The turtle might not have been fast enough just then. I'm not even sure if the turtle caught it or not. I don't think it did because all that sand is still in its mouth and it's already trying again. It didn't have time to swallow, so let's keep watching. I think it may actually catch one. That was very close. That was an attempt. I think I'm pretty sure it it um, that fish just got away just in the nick of time but that turtle is very lightning fast but that fish was I think it was lightning faster I think it got out of the way just in time to avoid getting eaten but that turtle tried it really tried it say it stays so still that that's how it tricks the fish. It, it doesn't, nothing on the turtle moves, nothing at all, except for that uh, fake worm. And then it's got its eyes, its eyes are moving, but it tries to even keep them as, as still and stationary as it can. So let's keep watching it. Like I said, it's got all the time in the world and really this, that was a really neat, uh, observation to get to catch it on video not actually catching a fish but trying so hard that was just as close as uh, as close as as we could get to actually catching a fish but that little worm the vermiform is an evolutionary adaptation that I think is just amazing no other turtle has it and I could sit and watch this all day long here in the swamp at night with the uh, with my light shining on it this turtle is really um, amazing to not be too scared of me you know it's so focused on the hunt and trying to catch these fish that it's even ignoring the fact that it's got a human being hover, hovering over it with a light and a camera so 
I think this is awesome that we're getting this footage and I'm going to continue trying to get this footage uh, for a few more minutes and, and hopefully, oh yeah, those fish are getting close. One just needs to go for that little worm again. Hopefully we can get it a kill and an actual, um, an actual catch on video. But how can those fish resist that little worm when their natural prey is the mosquito, uh, mosquito larvae, which looks just like that? He's trying to tempt them. He sees them, and as he sees them swimming around, he just shakes it. He shakes it like a little mosquito larva would be wiggling in the water, if that's what it really was. It's kind of interesting. He creates that contrast, too. You notice under the vermiform, the fake worm, his skin is white, and then the vermiform is dark colored. Uh oh, that little fish looks like he's going to go for it. No. But that white skin underneath the fake worm creates a contrast that really lets the worm stand out, and he even lets the some of that sand get in his mouth, but it doesn't cover that little patch of white skin which looks like a rock really it looks like a rock um, if you look at the surrounding little pebbles in the sand it looks just like one of those and then you've got that that little worm on top of it it looks so real but it's not I'm telling you it is a hundred percent an evolutionary adaptation on his real tongue it's part of his tongue look at this oh did he get it no he missed it can you believe that I can't believe he missed he got so close, but that's twice we've ca captured on video him attempting to uh, to clamp down on one of those fish. So he's still luring, and those fish are still interested. They are checking it out. That one little one is stupid. I think he's the same one that just just went in there for it. So let's see. Yeah, my boat's a little noisy, and so I apologize for that, you know, but we're in the swamp, and, and it doesn't seem to be distracting him at all, and uh, I've got, I'm just zoomed right in, and he seems to be just doing what he would normally do if we weren't here, so what an opportunity, what an opportunity to get some amazing footage, so we've already got amazing footage of him, try, him trying to clamp down twice, so trying to clamp down on one of those fish. Zoom out a little bit so you can see his tail, and all of him. You see more fish in the screen now. You got a little bit of light there on the bottom of the screen, that little light glaring off of the, the water. So that's my camera light. So I'm going to zoom in more so y'all don't have to see that. There we go. Just continue watching. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. That's what he's saying. Here, fishy, fishy. Those fish, I don't know how they can resist. You know, they're just swimming around. And, and uh, that's what they eat. Things that look just like that. It's just ingrained in their... <laughs> See how he's just, he sees that fish coming for it, so he's moving it, but really trying to entice that fish to to strike at his little fake worm in his mouth. Yeah. It is a mathematical certainty that he's going to catch a fish. These turtles can live to be over 100 years old. They grow very slowly, but um, 
they ultimately get really big, especially in captivity. But in the wild, they are lean turtles and they hunt. But in captivity, people just seem to cram their faces full of food that's not natural like chicken. And so it looks like he's um, he's going to take a break. After a while, they have to come up for air. So he's spitting out all that sand that he was using for camouflage on the surface of the bottom of his mouth. And, uh, okay, he's just coming up out. He just bur buried himself in that sand. And uh, it looks like he's going to call it a day and uh, come up for some air then maybe he's not going to call it a day he's just going to come up for some air and then he's going to go back down and he's going to continue hunting until he catches a fish so let's watch him a little longer his nostrils on the tip of his nose he can just barely pierce the uh, surface of the water and breathe if you look the tip of his nose has those two little holes. They're right at the top of his nose. Those are his nostrils. And he's going to break the water. He's going up. There he did. He just did it. Can you see how the, the two little nostrils just barely penetrated the surface of the water so he doesn't have to put his head up over the water and he's breathing. He's breathing, which is something he has to do every 45 minutes or so, uh, depending on how big they are. It, it may be every 25 minutes, maybe up to an hour has to do with how fast their metabolism is going too in the the summertime they have to breathe more often because their metabolism is going faster than if they do in the winter time which they may be hibernating in the winter and not need to come up for air for weeks or even months but right now he's at a point where i think he probably has to come up every 30 minutes to an hour and so he just got his breath of air he's completed doing that and now he's going to go back underwater, figure out what he's going to do next, and keep hunting for Gambusia mosquito fish. Gambusia is the scientific name for the mosquito fish, which is his natural prey at this stage of his life in the wild. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.